Hey guys, it's your boy Peter John. Welcome to the episode 715 of Logo History. Today I'm going to talk about Animal Crossing, Danimals Yo Tubes, Danimals Yogurt Pouches, Splash and Bubbles, UEFA Europa Conference League, Conmobile Sudamericana and Dravatsky Nogometni Savas. These are the people who requested today's logos. I hope you like it. First, I'm gonna talk about UEFA Europa Conference League. It is an annual football club competition organized by the Union of European Football Associations for eligible European football clubs. First contested in the 2021-22 season, the competition serves as the bottom level of the Europa League, which was reduced from 48 to 32 teams in the group stage. 2021 to the present, there are two green half rings, and between them there is a black award, and under it, there are two black curved lines, and between them there is the word UEFA in black text, and under the lines, there are the word Europa Conference and League in black text. Here is a part of an intro. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Splash and Bubbles. It is an American computer animated children's television series created by John Tartaglia. The series debuted on PBS Kids on November 23, 2016, after Wild Kratts, Creatures of the Deep Sea. It is produced using motion capture that blends with animatronic interfaces, which enables the crew to make animation. 2016 to 2018, there are the words Jim and Henson's in blue text, and under them there are the words Splash and Bubbles in yellow text on a blue outline, except the word Anna's is in blue text, and surrounding the words there are a bunch of light blue circles representing bubbles. Here is an intro. Come along with us, dive All right, now I'm gonna talk about Danimals Yo Tubes. It is a product sold and produced by Danimals, an American brand of low-fat drinkable yogurt launched by Danon in 1994 and decorated with pictures of wild animals and is popular among children and in school lunches. 2018 to 2018, there is a yellow shape and inside it there is the word new in red text and under the yellow shape, there is a blue shape on a white outline and inside it, there is the word Danon in white text and under it, there is a red curved line and under the blue shape, there are the words Danimals and Yo Tubes in yellow and white text on a blue outline and under them there is a wooden plank and on it, there are two green shapes representing plants and under them, there are the words all natural ingredients with vitamin and D in green text and on the right of the wooden in plank, there is a character wearing red and blue clothes. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Animal Crossing. It is a social simulation video game series developed and published by Nintendo. The series was conceptualized and created by Katsaya Iguchi and Hisashi Nagami. In Animal Crossing, the player character is a human who lives in a village inhabited by various anthropomorphic animals and can do various activities like fishing, insect catching, and fossil hunting. 2002 to the present, there is a brown shape on a black outline, and on it there is a white clock, and under it, there are the words welcome and to in white text, and under them, there are the words animal and crossing in yellow text. Here is an intro. Twenty nineteen to the present, the logo is darker, and now the words animal and crossing are now on a black outline. Here is the Japanese version and an intro. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Danimal's yogurt pouches. They are a mess-free, on-the-go choice featuring creamy, nutritious low-fat yogurt in a convenient pouch. Each kid's favorite fruity flavor is a good source of calcium and vitamin D, but never made with high-fructose corn syrup or colors or flavors from artificial sources. 2015 to 2018, here we have the logo of the first Danimal's yogurt pouches name, Danimal's Squeezables. There is a blue shape on a white outline, and inside it there is the word Danon in white text, and under it, there is a red curved line, and under the blue shape, there are the words Danimals and Squeezables in yellow and blue text on a dark blue and white outline, and on the white outline, there are the words low fat and yogurt in light blue text. Here is a commercial. What's with the cool music? We've been squeeze face. Squeeze face? From the deliciousness of Danimal Squeezables. Wanna get your squeeze on? Bring it on! Whoa, cool! It's so good! This is awesome! Double squeeze face! Look! Whoa! Wanna try one? Wow! School of rocks. rocks! New Danimal Squeezables! Squeeze more fun into lunch! Danim. 
2018 to 2020, there is a white shape, and on it there is a blue shape on a white outline, and inside it, there is the word Ganon in white text, and under it, there is a red curved line, and under the blue shape, there are the words Danimals and Squeezables in yellow and white text on a blue outline. 2020 to the present, they changed its name to Danimals Yogurt Pouches. There are the words Danimals and Pouches in yellow and white text. Here is the box, the Princess version and the Paw Patrol version. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about CONMEBOL Sudamericana. It is an annual international club football competition organized by CONMEBOL since 2002. It is the second most prestigious club competition in South American football. CONCACAF clubs were invited between 2004 and 2008. The CONMEBOL Sudamericana began in 2002, replacing the separate competitions Copa Mercanerd and Copa Mercosur by a single competition. 2002 to 2010, here we have the logo of the first CONMEBOL Sudamericana's name, Copa Nissan Sudamericana. There is a blue rounded rectangle, and on it there are four blue lines on a white outline, and on the right of the lines, there is a blue football on a white outline, and on it, there are four white stars, and under the rectangle, there are the words Copa Nissan and Sudamericana in blue text. Here is an intro. From 2011 to 2012, here we have the logo of the second CONMEBOL Sudamericana's name, Copa Bridgestone Sudamericana. The rectangle is now in a grey and red gradient, the lines are now red, the football is now silver, the word Nissan has been replaced with the word Bridgestone, and the text is now in black text, except the letter B is half red half black. Here is an intro. From 2013 to 2014, here we have the logo of the third CONMEBOL Sudamericana's name, Copa Total Sudamericana. There are two blue shapes and between them there are four lines one red one yellow, one light blue and one blue, and on the right of them, there is a red blue light blue and yellow sphere, and on the right of it, there are the words Copa Total and Sudamericana in blue and red text. Here is an intro. From 2015 to 2016, here we have the logo of the fourth CONMEBOL Sudamericana's name, Copa Sudamericana. There is a blue rounded rectangle, and on it there are four blue lines on a white outline, and under them there is the word Copa in white text, and on the right of it, there is a blue football on a white outline, and on it there are four white stars, and under the rectangle, there is the word Sudamericana in blue text. Here is an intro. From 2017 to the present, they finally changed its name to CONMEBOL Sudamericana. There is a silver shape and inside it there is a football, and on it there is a golden star, and under the football there is a silver circle, and under it there are two silver shapes all of that representing an award, and under them there are the words CONMEBOL and Sudamericana in black text, and on the sides of the word CONMEBOL, there are two black lines. Here is an intro. Right, now I'm gonna talk about Ravatsky Nogometni Savas. It is the national governing body of football in Croatia. It was originally formed in 1912 and is based in the capital city of Zagreb. The organization is a member of both FIFA and UEFA and is responsible for overseeing all aspects of the game of football in Croatia. The current president of HNS is Marijan Kusti. 
1940 something to 1940 something, there is a yellow shape, and on it there is a white rounded triangle on a red outline, and inside it, there are the blue letters HN and S on a yellow outline, and between them, there is a red and white shield on a yellow outline. 1940 something to 1940 something, there is a bronze shape, and on it there are the bronze letters N and S, and on the bottom left of them there is a bronze football, and under them there is a red white and blue shield on a yellow outline. 1940 something to 1950 something, there are the red letters HN and S, and under them there is a red and white shield. 1950 something to 1970 something, they changed its name to Nogometni Savas Ravatsk. There is a blue shape and coming out of it there is a red star, and on it, there is a white drawing of a person kicking a ball. 1970 something to 1992, there is a white and red shape on a yellow outline, and on it there is a blue shape on a yellow outline, and on it there is a red star on a yellow outline, and under it, there are the yellow letters N, S and H, and under the shapes, there is a brown football. 1992 to 2014, they changed its name back to Ravatsky Nogometni Savas. The star has been removed, the letters are now HNS, they are now in brown text, the yellow outline is now brown, the logo is darker, and the football is smaller. Here is a variant. 2014 to the present, the logo is now 3D, and the outline, the text and the football, are now golden. Here is an intro. Ok guys, this is it for today. I really hope you liked it. Stay tuned for the episode 716 that is going to be about Sanyo, TV Sergio, Paris Films, Earthbound, TV Rio Balsas, Google Sheets, National Weather Service and Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures. And also don't forget to join my Discord server and to subscribe to my channel so you can watch all my videos. I am Peter John, this is Logo History and until the next video, bye.